All right, welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is August 11, 2024. I am your host, Luis Palacio, with me, my co host, Grease. Yo, 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 yo. All, all right, too many yo's. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back to the yo. Um, but yeah, uh, how are you doing? It's been a good week. Uh, I am Pokemon Trigger, please. It has been a wet week, a little too wet, <laughs> if you will. Pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that sounds kind of weird. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I work at a pool, and let's just say my phone got acquainted with that pool. Uh, so I, it's in some rice right now, but I do have a phone uh, that I'm using to kind of look at the game right now. Uh, while we're doing the podcast, hopefully I can get it working again. But if not, I could just move over my SIM card. Mm. It's just annoying. Well, I mean, at that point, you'll probably just get a new phone. Yeah, yeah. So. I've had it a decent chunk of time, so I don't feel too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. And you have paid it off and everything. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, well, we're here once again to talk about Pokemon Go news, update, and ranting about the game, because we love the game just as much as ever you do. Uh, don't forget to check us out at PokemonProfessor.com slash PurifyPopcast. Wonderful people to work with every single time. Uh, you can also join their wonderful Patreon. If you, for $1 a month, uh, you can actually join their Patreon-exclusive Discord, which is a fantastic place with fantastic people. I'll get that going later on. Uh, but definitely uh, check us out there because if you support us through there, uh, it does help out a lot through uh, both our channels and everything else that we have gone through. Thank you so much, Justin, for the Prime subscription. I appreciate it. And thank you and welcome to, you know, the Purify Podcast. But yes, uh, definitely check us out there if you can. Uh, we have amazing content creators out there, part-time content creators that will love to do all things Pokemon-related stuff, including... Pokemon Sleep. You'll soon hear about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, dude, it's been a week. Uh, it feels like I play Pokemon Go and play other games and play other things. So I'm like all over the place this day, so I don't know what what have you been uh, doing this last week or so. Um, last week hasn't been you know too different. Um, just you know, same old, same old. Uh, I'm trying to think if anything's been different. Uh, I guess uh, we just had to deal with that little tropical storm, huh? That's true. We did have to deal with that since last time we recorded, which it was during the time that it was hitting us pretty in- intensely, right? I think we recorded last Sunday, and it was when it was like wind and rain all day. Uh, we-, we were able to record during then, but I mean, we got lucky, I guess. Yeah, um, luckily, neither of us got, you know, too, too crazily hit. Uh, I mean, over here, it wasn't really bad at all. It just rained for a few hours. Literally, my wife and I just swept, like, we slept right through, to be <laughs> honest. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. I mean, it, it was raining pretty hard the entire day. Uh, luckily, we didn't get flooded where my house is. Which you mm-hmm. know is aside from being a like, new construction, we were really lucky. Everywhere else, I we saw got some flooded. Pictures, yeah. yeah. Everywhere else got flooded, and it was crazy. Um, you know, Sarasota Sara area was actually like insane. It was you couldn't go anywhere. Um, Branton was like underwater at this point. So, I know the island over there. Uh, you know, Anna Maria uh, was very flooded uh, because uh, Julie's mom is a uh, post office worker. Oh God. And they work rain or shine. Mm. So, your parents so that were, was definitely interesting. Your parents went okay uh, through the storm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Everything was fine there. I know uh, during Irma, we lost power for a few days. So I was a little bit nervous, but uh, it, it looks like everything was good. Um, so I'm glad, at least to my knowledge, nobody that I know was hit too hard. Yeah. That's good. Um, I mean, it was just a tropical storm. Mm. Um it, it so, technically you know i'm not i'm not trying to make anything stronger come our way but yeah you know, i i wasn't expecting too much i the thing is that you're a little further away than usual so we we got mm-hmm. hammered like pretty he- heavily with the rain so it's that's true um 
technically when it was going over you, in, and it was actually a pretty big storm regardless, it was already uh, as, as strong as a Cat 1, so definitely yes. something to do. Now, of course, we didn't play, we didn't go out, you know, we did what we needed to do is stay home and, you know, relax and hopefully, you know, try to survive it. Uh, quick little story is that uh, during the night after we podcast and everything, you know, I went to sleep, I was like, you know, I gotta go to work next day, and around 3, 3.30 in the morning, I hear a huge thunder just like hidden like really behind i think it would hit like behind my, my house or something because all i heard was the boom the house shake and lost the power we lost all power oh uh, my morning. gosh so uh but luckily we were able to return or after a few hours i think it was like four hour four 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 or five hours without power so it wasn't really too bad um because we were waking up and we were trying to figure out what to do texting work and everything you know it was really not that fun in the end of the day um but in 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 all regards it definitely was uh as we were lucky uh, compared to a lot of people we were literally really lucky so we definitely should be you know out there in the end of the day uh but hopefully everybody else stayed safe during that specific day uh monday was still a rainy day regardless and everything was flooded so definitely a day to stay home too just in case you know don't drive in the crazy weather and don't drive yeah. between the waters. You don't want to get stuck. Uh, definitely something to keep in mind uh, when it comes to it. All right. Well, that being said, let's get away from the craziness that is Hurricane <laughs> Devi. Uh, let's get into some Pokemon Go stuff. So let's recap some things. I believe you have some hauls for me, Chris. Uh, maybe. Um, I don't think I have a crazy amount, but it's, let me see. Um, been having fun with the new shadows. Uh, not that any of them gave me anything, um, but definitely uh, fun to uh, look at them. I think I, I think I might have already talked about that one. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Um, we are we yeah we had already had a mega ray ray before the last one right yeah yeah um i don't think i got anything new <laughs> <laughs> to be honest um yeah. yeah it's uh it's been a slow week so no shinies um, to talk about or anything yeah no shinies no hundas um uh nothing crazy for me um just some pvp pokemon here and there. i've been trying to look into getting a good shadow uh Oh my gosh, the evolution of Lily, but I'm completely credilly. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I've been working on. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I've, uh, I I haven't really gotten anything uh, too crazy of note. Um, but yeah, uh, what'd you get, buddy? Uh, I got a few things from the Gold Plus. I think every single Pokemon in here, except for probably the Adoractyl, was a shiny that I got when I was hunting around. Uh, I think I'm doing a raid hour, actually. Um, and then... Oh, yeah, that Niso was also a shiny that I got from my daily incest. So that's pretty cool, I guess. You know, getting anything from the daily is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I was, and uh, just that gold plus rock and roll up, which, you know, it had a community day, so it was not really that exciting anymore. <laughs> it's still a cool looking one, though. Yeah, yeah, still a pretty cool shiny. Uh, no hondos to talk about because it's been a slow grind for me, too. Hatching only enough eggs for my lifetime uh through the first few days of adventure week i had like a full seven or a full 10k egg pool uh that i was hatching so i didn't hatch those for another two or three days afterwards <laughs> hello kenobi how you doing um but yeah it's <laughs> it's crazy when it comes down to it uh i haven't hatched any other 7k eggs i have no desire to hatch them even if if you know tortuga or anything like that is there I just I, I don't have the the will to to continue on playing you know adventure week for some reason it's just not exciting to play the spawns are mediocre raids are okay um we did have shadow lugia this weekend which i didn't take part of because i already have my shadow uh, and uh after that i was just, i mean i was super busy this week uh, getting things done for you know, surprise new podcast and everything. And then after that, I had all the things that I had to get done. So every time somebody was like, oh, let's go out and try and play. I'm like, nah, I don't have the time, brother. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, we'll I'll get a schedule going so I make sure that I continue working on both regardless. 
but uh yeah no nothing nothing to really come about uh again we're trying to stay afloat after the last few months of craziness that we had so and even weeks uh just playing the game as regularly and hopefully get more stuff uh when when you guys hear the crazy stuff that's when i'll get probably if i get a shiny larvesta you'll hear me here and talk about everything oh my gosh you're gonna get one very randomly it's 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 gotta be you know i mean i was surprised about somebody hatching a shiny uh sandal and shiny sandal was out since the last event and i completely forgot that that was a thing <laughs> yeah um i i literally only hatched a few sandile the past uh you know however many 10k like 12k eggs i've been through um i keep hatching poniard and i'm still waiting on that shiny too yeah, well, I mean, it, it it's just it, it gotta happen when it had to happen, you know. It's like, oh yeah, I don't hatch too many twelve k eggs. I don't want to go crazy with twelve k um, eggs. I don't know. They after all these years of hatching so many eggs, and you know, if I go to my metal right now, you can tell you can tell that I, I hatch eggs and and too many eggs and to 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 be good. so many eggs, so many eggs. I've been a good breeder. Pause. Anyway, <laughs> uh, twenty four thousand nine hundred and fifty eggs hatched over the course of eight years. So I have my rewards, I have my failures, and I definitely just I feel like I don't really want to hatch anymore unless the pool goes crazy. Hopefully next season we'll talk about more, you know, you never know. As long as I can hatch those larvestas, I'm fine with that. <laughs> you know, I think that if they put like a really rare Pokemon into the 7k egg pool, I think everybody will be hatching 7k eggs instead. Maybe add some things that 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 we normally don't get. The problem with seven K X is that they use it for events now as much as possible. New releases or new things. Everybody's like, oh we gotta hatch this seven K X because it's a thing now. I'm just like, well, maybe you can just put it in the regular pool and have some quirks and stuff. What do you think, Chris? Um, I mean I'm pretty happy with the egg pool right now. Yeah. Um it, it's really just a matter of, uh, you know, getting what you want, right? So, Nick, uh, what's it called? Uh, Larvesta is obviously a chase. Uh, and I know during a Go, like Go Fest, it was very likely to at least hatch one Larvesta. Um, so that was definitely an exciting time because, you know, the chances of getting a Larvesta normally is just horrible horrible odds bro um, so. i <laughs> i remember that uh gold cast from or chris from gold cast he actually hatched all the seven cakes possible during uh both the event that i led you to have large and mm -hmm. and go fest and he didn't get one he hasn't hatched a single larvesta i mean he has hatched from, larvestas, from that, I mean, but from the event itself he didn't hatch anything that is insane so the odds are really not in our favor when it comes down to it. I mean, we can also go to like you know squid, uh, squid uh, the beast in uh, Twitter and you know just hatch a Shando Larvesta in like twenty something eggs. That is insane. Yeah, I've only seen one person, one person uh, that in person that. I've only seen one person in person. That sounded so weird to me. <laughs> um, that has gotten a shiny Larvesta. I'm sure somebody in Brighton has got one too. Ah, uh, yes, uh, actually, sex girlfriend got one. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah I know what I'm lucky trading now. No, I'm, jo <laughs> I'm joking. I know she wouldn't. Do it's that. like 98 too. Oh, dude, God dear. God dear. Already. That's such a good one. That is such a good one. I, get. Just, I just need one. That's all I need, and I feel like I can complete my life. At least Give me for, that 10, 10, 10 shiny. I bro. won't complain. I feel like also, and you know, I know we're talking Pokemon Go, but I feel like the whole Pokemon franchise needs like a good overhaul. We've been kind of cut and dry since the last Pokemon Presents, and we kind of feel like we need some kind of news, hopefully. And again, this is happening hopefully this weekend. We'll get something during Worlds, which is again, in a couple of days. So... If they announce something there and they give us something to, you know, be hyped about for the next few days or maybe the next few months, because until, you know, Legend RC or Legend RC, Legend CA comes out, <laughs> uh, we don't really have anything aside from our regular gameplays in the last few games. So I don't know. I feel like it's time to for the Pokemon company to ramp up or their, their game and everything. Why did my screen just go 
a different color. That was weird. <laughs> it's like the lights turn on or something. Wait. That feels weird. It feels... That, okay, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Anyways, uh, with that being said, of course, that's how the week has been for the both of us. Let's move over to today's research topics of the week. Because we got a couple of news to be excited about. Chris, I'll let you take over this one. How about that? All right, all right, all right. Um, this is one we've pretty much been predicting for a while. Um, and yeah, uh, we're finally getting it. August Community Day will be a classic of Beldum. Um, definitely one we are looking forward to. Personally, I'm waiting for the Mega still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, like, uh, if you want to get a good IV one, now's your best chance, uh, before the raids even come out, uh, it will be Sunday, August 18th, literally a week from today. Uh, and it will be two to 5 PM local time. Uh, you're going to have a higher chance of getting your shiny one, of course. And just like the, uh, community day before for it uh, when you evolve matang into metagross it will get the charge attack meteor mash very very strong steel type move uh 100 power in trainer battles and 100 power in gyms and raids uh there's going to be a uh community day classic special research for one dollar um it's good if you don't think you're going to catch a lot of uh, Matangs or yeah, sorry, a lot of Baldoms, mm -hmm. and you want to get at least one decent IV one uh, because you do get a free Metagross. I know I say free, but you get an easy Metagross. I guess is a better term of uh, you know. And it. and real quick before we continue on, I really thought that Shiny Metagross was going to be a thing after Golfest. Yeah. I, I, I thought know. so too. I, I mean, there was not really that many reports of shiny metagross in the wild or in the the Golfus events and anything. So I was, was kind of like, any? Because to my knowledge, nobody reported getting one. I don't believe so. I think there would have been a lot more of a hype if that was the case. I mean, Lucario was in 2023. Um, I will say, the whole time we were in New York, I think I only saw one metagross. I didn't see that many either, and I I don't think I was of the biome of it when we were in the park. It was mostly just what we saw in the wild in the city. Mm -hmm. So it definitely was an interesting take to it. Is so my camera like twitching or something to me? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, I think like the colors might be going off and on. I think it's got happening to you too for some reason. Anyways, all right, continue on. Okay. Um, the event bonuses. Uh, there's going to be one fourth hatch distance when eggs are placed in each bears during the event. Uh, Larvasta, huh? Mm. No, uh, <laughs> lure modules activated during the event will last for three hours. I do notice they didn't say anything about the golden lures. I still don't think they're going to last because uh, I think in the other ones they clarified, but for some reason it didn't have it here. Uh, I don't think they'd let you do that with the golden lure though. Uh, incense, excluding the daily adventure incense activated during the event, will last for three hours and then take a few snapshots, five during community day, and you'll get a Beldum encounter for each one. Uh, field research, uh, there's going to be uh, the common community day research. Uh, you can get rewards such as Stardust, Great Balls, and additional encounters with Beldum. Love getting that. Easiest way to get a Hundo. Mm. Uh, Pokey Stop showcases. It's going to be a lot of different showcases for Beldum and probably Metagross too. Uh, there's also going to be a Pokemon Go Web Store Ultra Community Day box featuring 10 Ultra Balls, one Elite Charge TM, and one Special Research uh, ticket. So all of that on the Web Store for $4.99. Um, plus, you know, when you log in uh, with your. Uh, Pokemon Trainer Club account, you'll also get a 15% discount uh, for your first Webster purchase on any item, $9.99 or more, uh, if you haven't done that already. Event bundles. There's going to be two bundles in the game. Uh, so 1350 Pokecoins, you'll get 50 Ultra Balls, five Super Incubators, one Elite Charge Jam, and five Lucky Eggs. Not horrible, but... 
Uh, I know you. I know you, how you feel about the Ultra Balls. And then uh, for four eighty Poke Coins, you get thirty Ultra Balls, one Incense, three Super Incubators, and one Lure Module. So uh, kind of kind of mix matched. I will say the top one doesn't feel as bad to me. Just the fact you get the five Super Incubators and the five Lucky Eggs. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, you know, elite TM of any kind is uh, always nice. The uh, elite fast TM or elite charge TM. I think I prefer the elite char- uh, charge TM a lot of times anyways. Well, a lot of, a lot of the, the Pokemons that we have are mostly available through the charge than the uh, fast anyway. So there's not much. Yes. I mean, there's a few that are really good with the fast. But again, it's mostly the charge one that you want. That's true. Yeah. So that is... Uh, Community Day Classic for Peltum. This is the second um, second classic we have through the season, which is a little unusual, and we'll talk about it in a moment. But exciting? Yeah. Peltum is always an exciting time, regardless. I know a lot of people were waiting for this one. I know a lot of my community was waiting Zach's for this one. excited, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's something that's definitely, uh, you know, will be exciting to play now oh my goodness i'm gonna be so busy that sunday (laughs) oh man uh but yeah between that and this and and the podcasts and everything but yeah i'll have to adjust as much as possible to make sure that have everything ready between that and play three hours of community day and be not be tired but it is how it is (laughs) um yeah my sundays are gonna be packed yeah for the next few months but that's how i I want it i like i like the adventure (laughs) all right well with that being said, of course, Belden Classic is here. Let's get into the last piece of news that we have. And surprisingly, I mean, we don't have that much going on today. Uh, but we do have save the dates for next season's community days. Dun, dun, dun. Very exciting to know because now you can actually plan out your days. But at the same time, good to know about what we're going to have next season. Is if Even if it's only in like morris code because they're only telling us the dates anyways so <laughs> uh, yeah yeah it's it's literally just uh hey we're gonna have stuff going on these days but we won't tell you what essentially right yeah. and we basically won't have because we're only like what august 11 right now and we are you know two weeks three weeks away from technically getting the new season um there's not gonna be that much exam although again everything falls for worlds worlds really feels like the one day that everybody's going to be super hyped about it now it could happen at the beginning of the of the weekend could be the end of the weekend and then by the time we'll be here talking about it it will be crazy you know so i don't know i feel like worlds is there like they gotta give us something there if they if they don't then i'll be incredibly disappointed and you know (laughs) you know expect disappointment and you won't get disappointed but if you don't get that reference look it up Anyways, uh, coming here today, um, dates for next season. So we are happy to share the dates of next season's community dates. Number one, Saturday, September 14, 2024. Oh, my goodness. Um, depends on what I'm doing that day. Uh, Saturday, October 5th, 2024. And then Sunday, November 10th at 2024. Uh, 20, uh, 2024. 2024, year 2024. Um which is crazy to know that we're getting closer and closer to November, and that means that we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year. It's it, it's insane. I, I feel like this year has already like flew by without even. Ending. Yeah, yeah. Um, if if I'm not paying attention to the dates, I feel like the month is gone before I know it. Yeah, especially when we have so much excitement here and there. So it's definitely something to worry about. I feel like 24 hours is not enough time in the daytime anymore. <laughs> Or at least 24 hours for a full day. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but community days aren't the only events on the horizon for the coming season. There are other fun in-game events on the way, and their dates are as follow. Uh, we have Sunday, uh, September 8th. It's going to be a Ray Day. Interesting. Uh, Sunday, September 22nd will be a Research Day. Saturday, October 12th will be a Ray Day. And then Saturday, October 19th will be a Research Day. Stay tuned for more details for the community days and beyond. Now, two raid days and two research days, uh, both in different months. I think it's interesting, too, that each month is having it on a specific day. You know, Sunday and Sunday, Saturday and Saturday. Yeah. And there's also interesting, they say, just like I mentioned before, 
and a lot of people actually pointed this out, we don't have a classic this season. Huh. <laughs> I remember, just, I, I just saw the eyes, you know, popped up. I was like, huh, that is interesting. Uh, I will say, technically, December is a classic. I wonder if that's why. No, it's because we had the two this month, this season. You think you think that's what it is? I think it's because they're waiting. They're 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 hoping that we forget that there's something going on in the game right now. <laughs> um, but um, because of all the excitement that that's gonna happen once that gets announced, and again, oh uh, yeah, 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 a, a big a big announcement, yeah. if you will. And again, guys, I mean, it's yeah. not that we're talking in Moriscope because this is public information. If you actually know where to go. But uh, yeah, they, they put it in teasers. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, but in the end of the day, it's like if they're really focusing on that throughout the season, and they don't want to have us have like the common, you know, schedule of community days and classics and all that stuff. That's probably the reason why we're trying to do what we're supposed to be doing. So hopefully, that's gonna be the case. Again, I have no details. I have nothing when it comes down to it. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of one of those things in the end of the day uh, to keep in mind. But regardless, um, make sure you're out there, ready to go, ready for uh, community days. We know at least that the final community of this season will be Poplio. I said that right, right? I know there's another Pokemon that's similar to the name. <laughs> but, you know, um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's kind of the things. So we'll keep at it. Uh, it's good to know. All right, so uh, yeah, that's it on the news. There's really not much to cover about it. There's not, maybe a couple of miscellaneous things here and there. Uh, I did talk about with Lane a couple of weeks ago about the state of the game, and I wanted to actually get your opinions too, Chris. How do you feel the state of the game has been since basically the last month or so, really? And how? What? Go on. What? <laughs> um. Let's just say uh, I think Shadow Lugia's beginning was a good indicator. Oh, God. I'm sure you saw that. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, they made a huge announcement, right? Yeah, it's uh, the support the support was basically there. Shadow Lugia was... Uh, if you guys didn't know, Shadow Lugia you know, becomes enraged, just like any other legendary Pokemon in every you know, 5-star or 4-star or 3-star that we have out there. Um but because of that, there was a glitch where even with 20 people in the, in <laughs> using all their gems and everything, you could not subside it. So Shadow Lugia was unbeatable for the first few hours of the time zones. So once again, you know, Niantic in the old fashion said, hey, guys, uh, we identified this problem and we are going to make Shadow Lugia not becoming rage in battle. So you guys can don't have to waste your passes at the same time. Uh, they are, you know, compensating the players out there. They actually do do any of the raids, so they're giving their purified gems back and a couple of, uh, premium passes here and there. So they'll get a free box Dude, in the shop. The amount of stuff they deal with is so crazy to me. It's insane, and I'm sorry to anybody in the earlier time zones, you know, New Zealand and all that. I'm sorry you really have to go through all of this. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny to me. Um, I don't know. If- how they wouldn't be able to test things like that i mean i mean maybe it's just different i guess when you roll it out and there's just you know hundreds of thousands of people playing in an area well there's but, actually a more hilarious thing the shadow lugia was oh. already a thing back then like i got my yeah. shadow because of it so how did this get messed up you yeah, already yeah, had what, the code in happened? there <laughs> oh um, my goodness but yeah I, th- I thought it was so funny i was telling uh my friend andrew about it I was like, yeah, what what was their fix to uh, it being enraged and not being uh, able to be subsided? Oh, we'll just turn it off. <laughs> it can't get enraged. It basically, uh, so they made it so much easier. Right? Yeah, it, it basically was like nonchalant. You don't have to waste any gems. There's basically, it's basically just regular Lugia raids now for the entire weekend. That would have been the thing. Just, yeah, just uh, that, that was something I was uh, kind of worried about was uh, the people that put all their gems into trying to beat a Shadow Lugia just to be frustrated when 20 people <laughs> wasn't enough. That, so crazy to me. Goodness, that, that was insane when it came down to it. So um, there's also a few other things that had happened, you know, miscellaneously wise. Now, uh, the latest update to Pokemon Go kind of made it a little unplayable 
So I, I had actually, this is something personally that I experienced. Uh, when I made the update, well, it wasn't a force update, but it was a, a uh, one of those like side updates and everything, but you had to update it in the app and all that or in the web store. Um, after the update, all I could see was my research and my body in the map. Everything else was blank. I could not see any stops. I could not see any spawns. Uh, nothing like that. And the funny thing is, it's like if I turn on my Go Plus Plus, I definitely was getting spawns. Uh, I could turn on like a, an incense or adventure effects or anything like that. Um, and then I get spawns like that and I catch Pokemons. But I couldn't see myself. I couldn't see my profile. Um, and I couldn't do anything else in the game after that. So I was struggling because, you know, it was like after the update, I was like, oh, something's going on here and everything. So I, I went deep into the Reddits <laughs> and asked, like, what's going on here? Uh, it looks like this was a common thing even before this update. Uh, and some people were having the same issue and they said, just change your outfit. Just let's change the shoes or something like that. If you can log into another device or something. And once I put everything on default, which actually my character is in default mode, clothes and everything, uh, and turn off the shoes and all that, I was able to log back in into the game. Uh, and that was uh, interesting to say the least, because how in the world a piece of clothes in the game, inside the game, makes the game unplayable? <laughs> And it wasn't happening to many people. It was just happening like to a select a few. And I was one of the lucky ones. So I was the very first. I think this is the first first time that I get affected by something like this. Um, especially when I do an update right away after it's been available or something like that. You know, so I don't know. It's definitely <laughs> something to be mindful. Uh, you really want to talk about the rockets then? The rocket leaders, rocket grunts. Oh my gosh, I I honestly forgot about that for a second until you mentioned that. Um, yeah, uh, there was also an issue where uh, people that went out and beat uh, more grunts than Niantic thought acceptable, uh, then you would get banned, uh, which was funny because recently they upped from what I heard, they upped the um, limit that you could fight. Uh, and then just as soon, uh, recently, they lowered it to, what, lower than it was before while putting in a rocket event? Yeah, and that, and that was the interesting part. Now, uh, as far as my knowledge that I read around online and everything was that every time you encounter a rocket, that counts as one. Now, if you, let's say, go out of the encounter and then just spin a Pokestop or something or do something else in the game and then go back to the encounter to the same Rocket Grunt and everything, that counts as two. Keep doing that again for many, many times and the game recognizes it. It's like, hey, you're doing something weird. We're going to ban you. Like, not even a stray, like, warning or anything or something like that. Just like, goodbye. You see you in seven days or something like that. So, like, uh, that's not good. Now, I usually only do that when I'm trying to get the, bo uh, the body hearts uh, just to get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about it throughout the day. So I was actually a little worried when that happened. Uh, I didn't get banned, but I w at the same time, I wasn't doing an insanely amount of weird stuff with the rocket. So I was only doing the bare minimum, maybe five, whatever was spawning in the map, whatever I could find. And really, I don't even do more than five or six at that in, in, a, in a single day even with a rocket i've been going through um but the people who were technically doing hundreds hundred like i think somebody got banned after like the first 80 and then they opted to 100 and something and then they upped it again and then they lowered it again and i'm not sure at that point i think i lost track of what they were doing however they kind of did it in a way that's kind of heavy helpful and people can still do rocket uh rockets uh for the foreseeable future yeah. um but yeah, that was the crazy part. Now, of course, this is all banning thing was basically trying to combat some of the cheating that we've seen in Pokemon Go. And I specifically know because I've seen it around. I, every time I go to Twitter, I see somebody just basically trying to play Pokemon Go spoofing it and everything. And we haven't really talked about that in a while. Uh, but at the same time, they have like a weird stuff where they click on the encounter or, or, or on, a gr on a grunt. And all it is, is just like, oh, yeah, here's the encounter. They go to skip to the entire battle the moment they clicked on it. 
So that's the basically trying to come back to cheating. That's what Niantic was once trying to do. However, it was also playing legit players, although we can call it legit in some ways because you never know what happens uh, in between. Uh, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I know, you know, well-known spoofers out there. Trust me, it's all over my feet. I don't know why, but it is. So <laughs> um, the other, you know, people, the people that really are playing legit, they were trying to really do as many rockets as possible because that's, you know, a way to enjoy the game just like everybody else would. However, those legit players getting banned just made it the worst because trying to combat the cheating was also a thing. So I don't know. It's It comes to show that the very small population that actually does this kind of thing, you know, I really want to say maybe only 1% to 2% really is uh, really working on the rockets every time it appears on a, t on a takeover and everything. Maybe to complete their decks, maybe to just hunt the shinies, maybe to do this and that, you know, you never know. However, I know that a lot of players are the cheaters just by going through them and saying, I can't do more than a few because, you know, I click on it and I can't finish the encounter as soon as possible because I got to go through this whole thing. I'm like, that's the point, guys. That's the point of the game. <laughs> You're not supposed to finish it off in a second. <laughs> it should take you at least a minute or two to beat that the rocket grunt. Or even the leaders at that point. But anyways, um, yeah, it was a whole mess. And, it, you know, everybody was talking about it. Every single content creator was out there. It's like, oh, hey, guys, be careful with how you do these things and everything. Again, it doesn't affect me because I wasn't doing as many as everybody's was doing. And even, you know, somebody like Fleece King who goes out and actually does ruckus through the entire day, they really didn't get banned anyways, if you did it correctly. So, I don't know. It was a little weird that at that point, that was when they were, you know, trying to fix the uh, the problems and issues for all the bannings that was happening. Any more thoughts on that, Chris? Um, not, not too much. Um... Other than I thought it was very interesting that that's something they uh, they wanted to focus on for trying to ban people. Like, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. I know there's cheaters that do that, but I think it affected a lot of the hardcore grinders more than a lot of the uh, other ways that they could focus on cheating. Yeah. It's, it's... Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I still think distance is one of the ones that they should really be watching closer. I mean, that's usually the case. It's like, you know, cheaters and spoofers, they're, all they do is just basically click on something and they'll take a teleporter. They have ways to avoid the banning because they know how I've been playing this entire way, you know? So, I, I don't know. It's so much when it comes down to it. Hopefully, hopefully things uh, will be better. But, of course, you know, cheating in Pokemon Go will always be a thing. Hell, there's been even been cheating in Pokemon Sleep, so I don't know what to talk about there. So, uh, but yeah, in the end of the day, hopefully, I know Niantic has a good heart when it comes down to that, even though I know that they're not something that are not even thinking about their, their decisions. Um, but I know that they are really looking into trying to fix the problem as much as possible. There's always something to do more, and it will affect the, the legit player, yes. Um, hopefully, not too much. But we can still play the game the way that we intended to play it. The way that we go out and play, you know? So, um, what else? Is there anything else that the state of the game has actually gone through? It's like, uh, I know Go Battle League is a mess. It's just, it, it's a, a problem in between. In Worlds, it's just around the corner, so that's even worse. Uh, there was a fix one time, and there was a, and everybody was happy about it. Then the fix got away, and then everybody was happy about it again. And oh. like, now we're just really trying to, hope that worlds isn't going to be a, a and sorry for the words guys a clusterfuck <laughs> when it got to, to it <laughs> um I you know, know i was gonna say that i hadn't really heard anything bad about gbo recently oh no it's been all over like if you go like to the world champion annex or something they he's been going all about it and i i think oh yeah you weren't here during that week so he actually posted a video with the hashtag here is niantic now of course you know, the Here's Niantic is a hashtag that we created as a community to have them listen to us. And then it became one of those, why using this is a bad thing. And now, now he made a whole post about it. He'd be like, hey, GBL has been in the horrendous state. Uh, the whole battling system has been, you know, laggy and 
um, drop frames and charge move and everything, which, you know, things like that. Now, if you were to go to the Niantic support page for Go Battle League, they haven't updated that page in over three months. Probably more than that, actually. And it's getting scary because they're, it feels like they're not thinking of the player base when it comes down to the PvPers and out there. So it's definitely something that we needs to be aware of as much as possible. But at the same time, trying to fix it before Worlds because Worlds is going to be a big thing. And if there starts having problems from the very beginning, how are we going to really be uh, enjoying this game if we can't even enjoy regular Go Battle League at that point, you know? So... It, it's 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 getting scary out there in the end of the day. Um, I'm hope that they listen to the community as soon as possible. I think they are. Now here's the thing: we may be talking about the state of the game, how bad it's been for all aspects of the game, really, because you know all aspects of the game has really has had some issues. We had issues with Rays right now. So if you do like a couple of raids, let's say when you're in raid hour. When you're in the lobby, you know how they say, you know, please make mindful of all the people around you or something like that. Like a little pop-up comes out and then you just, uh, you know, you you go away from it. Do you ever notice that the bubbles in that just keep getting bigger and bigger? No. No. Okay. It's so funny. Yeah. So for some reason, that, that like little glitch, once it becomes too big, if let's say you don't restart the game, like after the next five or six raids, you can't even click off of it anymore. <laughs> you can't even invite people anymore. And you're like... Oh, is that, is that like the issue that uh, Pokemaster Holly was having during Rayquaza? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So it's like... things, Little things like that that, you know, are affecting our daily play really is having some negative balances in us. Now, once again, I'm going to say this. Even though we've been having those issues kind of things, we do have to give Niantic some credit. Now, they've been fixing issues as soon as they can. They've been compensating players as soon as they can. They're identifying and communicating to the community as soon as they can when those fix, when those problems are being made. So, definitely, it feels like they're a little more listening to the community that we had before. However, the fixes are taking a little bit of time. So I'll give it some benefit of the doubt saying that it will take time because it is a game. It is a live game. It needs to work through the fixes. It needs to make sure they test it out. It needs to make sure they push it through to make sure everybody's aware of it. That's why I feel like there's still, you know, the other side of the coin where it says, even though the state of the game seems to be getting worse and worse by the day, we know that they'll be able to work it as soon as they can, if they could. So... You know, historically wise, Niantic really hasn't been that good in communicating. So this is actually a change in pace. So <laughs> uh, any more thoughts on that, Chris? Um, not too much. Uh, all I can do is hope, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, the game is fun to play at the moment. There is just weird things like that that happen. <laughs> Yeah. Like I, 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 the Shadow Lugia thing just gets me every time. I, I can't believe their fix was just turning off and, and it being enraged. But at least it did make the game, you know, more playable for everybody who wanted to do them. So, in the end of the day, that was the best course of action. Oh, yeah, dude, everyone's happy at that. Who's gonna be mad about that? Yeah, that's not how it is. Welcome, Justin. How you doing? Oh, Justin, no, Levitt. Thank you, Levitt. Uh-huh. My bad. Anyways, um, not welcoming Justin too. I did welcome Justin at the beginning of the podcast too. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, hopefully, we'll have better news coming soon. I know that there's, there's still some compensation and fixes that they're working on. So, uh, with that being said, of course, we'll move on with that topic. Anyways, uh, there is one last thing that I want to mention. Chris is aware of it. I think anybody who was actually here earlier today was aware of it. Uh, we do have, or at least I have, a brand new podcast. Uh, <laughs> and I know I've been hinting at the entire time, but that's how it is. So, Pokemon Sleep has been... Okay, thank you, Chris. <laughs> Pokemon Sleep has actually been a really fun game uh, to talk about, a really fun stuff to talk about. Um, play it, you know, enjoy it patience all those things when it comes to this game uh so i really wanted to talk about it and i 
definitely had the chance to have somebody from the network who's also very, very, very uh, into the game. Now, Chris is also too, but he's been very busy, so I don't think he can handle another podcast here and there. Do not mind. I do not <laughs> mind. <laughs> but our good friends uh, from Special Conditions, Justin Will, has joined me to a brand new podcast. Uh, by the time you actually listen to this, at first, I believe the first episode should be out. Uh, we already recorded it this morning, and that's the reason why I'll be, you know, trying to juggle two different podcasts. So, Sleep It Off is the name of it. Please check it out in any of the podcast services. Fees. Let me try say that again. Please check it out in any of the podcast services fees. Check it out in the Pokemon from Sensor Network. Uh, make sure that you are giving it the best rating you can. I know it's, we're just beginning. We're trying to give you guys the best tips and tricks out there. Now, will this change us talking Pokemon Sleep here in this podcast? Eh, maybe a little bit, but I'll probably ask Chris, how's your sleep going here and there? <laughs> here and yeah, there. I, I, I think it's okay to mention, hey, you know, we're excited for this event yeah. coming up or something. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, you know, we'll be having a week off technically on that in the end of the day. Sweet, sweet. Thank you so much, Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, but yeah, so uh, please check us out. Uh, definitely. Uh, Justin has some really good uh, information when it comes down to the tips and tricks out there, the uh, stuff that we love about the game, uh, our opinions and everything. And of course, if you guys want to, you know, send us some fan mail or anything like that we would greatly appreciate it so that we can talk about it in the podcast every single day so or at least every single time we live live i will be live streaming it um me and Justin will be live streaming it in the morning 11 p.m is or 11 p.m 11 a.m eastern time uh yeah that would be crazy 11 a.m eastern time and of course it's time i think even to sleep i get it <laughs> yeah i know right and i think it's the best just because of how the week goes because we will be able to technically tell you what we're going to go through uh the next week's you know themes and everything and what we're going to be looking forward for events uh we're also going to go deep dive into some of the tips that we have out there we definitely are going to be talking about those things chris is already sleeping <laughs> yeah your sponsor for uh pokemon sleep uh, just sent me a visit uh, drowsy. <laughs> hey drowsy how you doing man <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you so much uh, if you do check it out. So with that being said, let's go over some PEP section. Get good, get red. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So GBL, uh, we're actually going to be very exciting to play GBL pretty soon because that is Worlds is coming up. So that's basically another thing that we're going to be going about it. But we have Go Battle Week uh, happening next week as soon as... I don't know. When is that happening again? <laughs> Somebody tell me again. <laughs> Chris. Let me <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm going back to the news. Give me a second. Uh, so Worlds is happening, uh, of course, Friday 16, but the celebration is going to happen on the 16 Go Battle Week, though. If we go to, yeah, the Share Skies is also happening on the 16 until on the 20th. So basically wow. on Friday, that's when we're going to uh, be able to do as many battles as we can in the Gold Battle League. You know, get some rewards here and there, some good moves. And then make sure you tune in to Twitch.tv uh, TV slash Pokemon Go. So watch all the coverage to Pokemon Go and everything like that. So definitely, definitely a very exciting to say the least uh any yeah. excitement from your Chris? have you actually played any gbl soon <laughs> um only only like uh one set pretty much this season so far yeah uh, i will say i am trying to do some uh when we are able to do a ton of them because e even if you're not getting you know the highest rank that you can be it is really good stardust, uh, especially for that day if you got free time. Yeah. Um, I will say the best thing about uh, Go Battle Day and like all that uh, is the fact that all the leagues are open, even the league that nobody's really going to do, Catch Cup Great League Edition. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, so, hey uh, we, should, we should make a, a, a bet and see how many sets we can go with Catch Cup. <laughs> with Catch Cup? The worst part, of it, I I just can't see myself putting Stardust into you know Pokemon I'm not gonna like use in the future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get you. I have probably like, Bronzor. I could justify because I was like, next time uh, Little Cup opens up, I'll have a Bronzor and it'll be fun. 
Yeah, yeah. This I can't justify. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I just do not like. I do not like catch cups that much. Yeah, no, it, it is how it is. I mean, if you're enjoying it, if you want to enjoy something, that'd be great. Um, yeah. But definitely having all leaks available is really great too. I will say it. it is funny to do a, a catch cup here and there, though. Yeah, yeah, it is how it is. Anyways, uh, make sure you are ready to do some battles. So, you, and again, just watch the stream, get your, you know, rewards and everything if you can. So definitely something out there uh, for everybody this next weekend. And we also have Beldum. So, I mean, <laughs> so many things to do in one day. Anyways, with that being said, I believe that's everything we got to cover, guys. Uh, Chris, you had anything else to, to add? Um, nothing that I can think. Um, I, th I think we covered everything. Yeah, I believe so, too. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast today. Um, if you are listening to a, one of our services feeds, with the Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Aha Radio, uh, if you can leave us a review, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It does help out a ton to see us there. Uh, don't forget to check us out on our social media, myself at Pure Light Go. Uh, anything podcast related will be on the Purify Podcast, and Chris will be at Pokemon Trigger, please, PKMN Trigger, please, with a C at the end. Drowsy is definitely actually affecting him today. <laughs> uh, don't check, don't it, forget. It's getting about time. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to also check, uh, email us anything to the Purify Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, definitely catch us there. Uh, join our Discord. That is uh, definitely for the Purify Podcast. And also join the Patreon for $1 a month and go join the Pokemon Professor Network Discord. Uh, we'll definitely be more active in that Discord than anything. But if you want to check us out, regardless, it is how it is. Um, and then don't forget to check us out at the Pokemon Professor Network.com slash Purify Podcast or the Purify Podcast.com. Basically the same link at the end of the day. With that being said, Chris, how about you take us away for the night? All right, all right, all right. Um, hope you guys had a fabulous week. Hope you guys are staying dry wherever you are. Um, and, and hydrated because it's hot yeah, as hell. Yeah, and hydrated. Um, so, yeah, uh, get out, be safe, have fun. Uh, we'll catch you guys next week, uh, which, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Is is next week, Beldum? Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, hopefully we got some good alls for you next week. Um, hopefully one of us get that good good. Uh, but you, yeah, you, um, the Shanda. you won the Shanda. I, I think I still need the Honda. Ooh. I know I know you got the Honda. I think I need the Honda. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a fabulous week. Looking forward to chatting with you guys next time. Uh, hopefully I got something to bring to the table. <laughs> and yeah. And hopefully you got um, a working phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh working with just a a little scrappy scrappy one but yeah um have a good one catch you next week uh have a fabulous time and yeah tune in peace out guys keep purifying everybody we'll see you guys next week <laughs> <laughs>